بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على موعث رحمة العالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد uh, Last time uh, I was uh, discussing about the importance of uh, Quran and the importance of recitation of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially in the month of Ramadan So since we are uh, in Ramadan, still in Ramadan the second reminder will be uh, based on the salah insha'Allah. You know, this is uh, the month of righteousness and uh, the best way to utilize the month is to uh, do that which was done by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one of the most important uh, things that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was busy wa- uh, with uh, during the month of Ramadan was the Quran and the second thing was the, was the prayer. Uh, the prayer is the the real uh, salvation that uh, a muslim has you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man nuqish al hisaba uzib you know man nuqish al hisaba uzib before i give you the interpretation of this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the first thing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal with you know when he uh, uh brought us back to him on the day of judgment is to deal with the prayer Subhanallah. The first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the angels to look at in, uh, of, in your record, the book of uh, the record, is about the prayer. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if the prayer is complete, فَقَدْ أَفْلَحَ abdu wa You definitely succeed. But unfortunately, if uh, uh, the prayer is not uh, complete, it's incomplete, Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Then Allah subhanahu wa taala will ask the angel to check uh, the angels to check uh, uh, the book and and go through every single detail about your life. You know what you did in this life. And you know I'm telling you the truth, my dear brothers and sisters. If Allah subhanahu wa taala is going to observe the real reckoning for you, you will definitely be in trouble. And that's the reason why the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, 'Man nukash al hisab uzib.'" If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to observe hisab on you, you will definitely be in trouble. So what is the solution? Let's complete the hadith, then we go, then we go to the solution, inshallah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah will ask them to check the prayer. If the prayer is completed, I mean, you don't have any problem with the prayer, then Allah will take you to paradise. The rest of the, the, the deeds you did in this life, which might be wrong, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will overlook them. And I do believe this is the ultimate success that everyone is looking for. And that's the secret behind the saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Day of Judgment for the good ones. The Day of Judgment, which is seen as uh, something that has the length of 50,000 years. But for the good ones, it's going to be like the duration you have between Zuhur and Asr. Allah SWT will make it like that. Because your hisab is going to be very light. Why is that? Because the side that concerns the prayer is okay. And there is another secret behind that, my dear brothers and sisters, because if the prayer is okay, most likely the rest of the activities of a believer also are going to be okay. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this life, inna salata tanhaan al-fashay wal munkar. The prayer usually is acting as a deterrent against the evil desire and the fahsha, the sins and, and on and on. But why do we still see people who pray in the masajid but they're still committing the sin and engaging in crimes from time to time. I can assure you, my dear brothers and sisters, that that prayer was not done in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. Because if a person is doing it truly for the sake of Allah and according to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it will definitely act in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed it in the Quran. That's why the least in terms of crime, the least in terms of depression, the least in terms of problems in this life, they are the people who are going to the masajid or in general people who are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, we are back to that hadith, if the prayer is okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will close the page and take you to paradise. But if unfortunately the prayer is not okay, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the angels to check and see if you have the sunnah prayers, You know, you used to pray sunnah prayers, not just the wajibat. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, I do believe it is one of the most dangerous situations you can ever put yourself if you are to stay away from the sunnah. It's very risky to have in your life only the wajibat. It's very risky. 
Why is that? Because for sure you're going to have deficiency in your prayer. To claim that your prayer is always perfect is impossible. You're going to have those deficiencies in your prayer, which you need to fill that vacuum. Otherwise, you might be in trouble when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if it is not filled. So how is that vacuum going to be filled on the Day of Judgment? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the angel to check the sunnah prayers. If you still have sunnah prayers, they will take from the sunnah prayers and complete the, the vacuum you have in, in the deficiency you have in the, in the, in the wajibat. If that happens, alhamdulillah, you succeed. But if in case a person doesn't have the sunnah to complete and to, and to remove that deficiency, and he did have the deficiency, the Prophet Sallallahu said, then Allah SWT will ask the angel to check everything. So dear brother and sister, this is the prayer. That's the reason why I call it the ultimate salvation a person has in this life. And also the thing that will make life you know, easy for you when you meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This is the nature of this prayer in this life, before Ramadan and after Ramadan. And my dear brothers and sisters, in Ramadan, the reward of the prayer is being multiplied by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like any other righteous deed. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I mean, increased the amount of uh, the, the, the focus, you know, on and the, the sunnah prayers, not just the wajibat on the sunnah prayers, especially when the last 10 days of Ramadan arrives. He used to tell somebody to go and wake up. Uh, the sisters at home and tell them wake up and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the time to sleep is over and he used to pray the night prayers he never missed them he said to us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala place the coolness of my eye in the in the prayer so my dear brothers and sisters this is the opportunity we're having wallahi this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you you live to see this month of Ramadan and as such, I really advise all of us not to miss a single prayer in the masjid if you are ma a man. If you are among the male, you shouldn't miss a single prayer in the masjid unless if it is necessary, something that you cannot avoid. If you are not a man, not to miss a single prayer on time. You know, If you don't go to the masjid, you pray at home, but not to miss a single prayer on time. And try your best, pray in Ramadan, during the night of Ramadan, I would suggest going to the masjid, but in case you decided to pray at home, it's also fine. The point is to pray at night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَعَ جَنْبِهِ نَافِرَةٍ لَكَ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَبَعْثَكَ رَبُّكَ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا Allah asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to take some part of the night and do the tahajjud as an additional task for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to resurrect you at the best position and the highest uh, position and Allah SWT will put you at the best place on the day of judgment which all the prophets of Allah SWT will be wishing that they have the same position as, as yours. So Allah SWT told the prophets Allah SWT, for you to get this position you have to pray at night. And Jibreel came to the prophet SAW and said, Ya Rasulullah, the Prophet وسلم, told, uh, was told by Jibreel, he says, live as long as you wish, but you should know that a day will come whereby you will die. And do whatever you want, you will be compensated according to what you did. And love whomsoever you wish, a day will come, you will leave that person. And you should know that your honor and uh, the high position you can get from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it can only be achieved through the Qiyamul Layl. You want to have high respect, you want to have a good position, you want to have a life of comfort and success in this life, and the tranquility that you need to uh, be able to resist the test in this life, he said, do prayer at night. This is the advice from the best among the angels to the best amongst the human being, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as such, I will close with this uh, uh, Hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa about Ramadan. He says, Man qama Ramadan iman and wahtisaba wafira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambihi. If you can manage to pray, you know, in Ramadan, the night prayers out of iman, you know, based on iman and also seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of your sins. So that itself is a virtue that shouldn't be neglected and shouldn't be uh, missed. 
it is an opportunity given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which shouldn't be missed. My dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you good and success in life and be with you wherever you are. Innahu bi kulli jameelin kafeer. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Asharu la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa tuhu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.